Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel Sain. A previous short that I had created, I explained why pi is not equal to pi divided by one. Okay, so, and of course, it got a lot of downvotes in both occasions where I did it. But the fact is this, the downvotes are due to misunderstanding of what division means. Okay, division doesn't mean what your teacher or your lecturer told you uh, by equal sharing. It doesn't mean that, actually, because, first of all, you can't share if you just have one recipient. Okay, so that's the first problem. And then, if you're sharing between anything that is not an integer value, then you've got a problem because you can't apply that absolute bullshit. So I'm going to teach you now very quickly why this is so. So in this first video that you see here, it says, oops, and let's go back. Yeah, uh, to that. I didn't mean to do that, did I? Uh, wait a moment, please. <laughs> Finger trouble. All right, let's start now. Okay, so 6 divided by 2 means 6 measured by 2, not 6 equally distributed by 2, because that doesn't apply in all other circumstances. But what I'm telling you here applies in any circumstance. 6 measured by 2, okay? What it means is you're using this 2 as a unit. And that's the difference between geometry and algebra, okay? In geometry, you measure using a unit and or parts of a unit. But that's not what you do in algebra. In algebra, it's more subtle than that. You're measuring using an abstract unit and or, wait for it, equal parts of the abstract unit. All right? So... Let's continue. So, 5 divided by 2 means that 2 measures 5 two times and one equal part of 2. In other words, a half of 2. You see, when you write something like three quarters, okay? It means that your unit, your unit consists of four equal parts, okay? <clears throat> One, two, three, four. And this here enumerates the number that it represents, that this fraction represents. It represents three of those parts, you see. Now, your idiotic mainstream professors and teachers don't understand that. That's why you have the morons saying things like 1 over 0 and 1 over infinity because they've never understood the concept of number or measure or division. So let's carry on and see why. We'll see why you cannot say pi divided by pi is equal to pi divided by 1. Okay, so if k consists of units and or equal parts of units. By the way, that's how you write any number. This is how all numbers are written, as p over q. There are no other numbers. Those are all the numbers you have. There's no little ring with natural numbers and whole numbers and then uh, integers and then rational numbers and then irrational numbers, and then reals, and then complexes. That's all just a pile of steaming crap, okay? Steaming crap. Remember that expression, all right? Now, let's continue. So, k divided by 1 means that k is measured by 1. It's not uh, shared equally amongst 1. There's nothing to share, you morons. 
Nothing. Okay? So that's what k divided by 1 means. Now, the only time that k is equal to k divided by 1 is if k, k over 1 can be measured by 1 and or equal parts of 1. Stop the video and think about that, morons. Okay. Now, let's continue. <coughs> Now we get to the crux of the problem. Pi divided by 1 means that pi is measured by 1 and or equal parts of 1. What does that mean? What I just explained to you. So that means that if you have a circle like that and a diameter, then call that C and that D. This means that you're trying to take the measure of this ratio. Okay. Now you'll find that if you treat D as a unit, you can get approximately three, and there's this little troublesome piece of crap here, okay? Which means that you need to, that you need to represent this little guy here using D or equal parts of D. Get that, you imbeciles? Explain that to your moronic math professor and teacher. They're fucking morons. They can't help it. It's not their fault. They weren't taught correctly. And this is what algebraic measure is and why it's different from geometric measure. In geometric measure, this thing here has a measure. It's this line plus this little bit, which you could do with a compass. Okay? Very easy. It's complete measure in geometry. 100% accurate. Not in algebra. So the only problem is that pi cannot be measured by 1. Guess what? If you say pi is equal to pi divided by 1, you know what you're saying? You're saying that pi is a rational number. Yes, you fucking imbeciles. That's what you're saying. And that's the message. If pi could be measured by 1, then pi would be a rational number. But we know pi is not a rational number. And rational is redundant. All numbers are rational, and all rationals are numbers. Therefore, pi is not equal to pi divided by 1. That's the conclusion of the matter. Okay, so now that I've taught you that you cannot say pi is equal to pi divided by 1, you need to learn what this stuff is all about, okay? So I haven't left you in the dark. Being the absolute stunning, handsome, and intelligent genius that I am, okay? Shit, I wish my genius could pay for heating bills. <laughs> because it's a toss-up here. I just, if you don't support me, you're not going to get much more of this knowledge. So for this very reason, I ask you to go to my academia page and download this free ebook. It teaches you everything you need to know about division and measure. It's priceless knowledge because before me, no one knew this stuff, not even modern Greek academics who were supposed to know these things, okay? And if you want to support me, you come along here and you buy an ebook without the watermark, okay? Just for 10 euros or $10. It's nothing to support uh, the most persecuted mathematician in history, the great John Gabriel. So look... If you have a comment, be very careful. I don't read long comments because I have problems with my eyes. Okay, so don't bother commenting, writing long comments. It's it's almost 100%, almost 99.99% probable that your comment is garbage, so it will get deleted. I don't have time for garbage. 
please do not comment unless you have a very significant comment to make. If you have a question or two, that's fine. Not more than one question. I'm not interested in your opinions, not even the slightest of your opinions. You can offer me praise, that's fine. But your opinion, you can shove it where the sun don't shine. Right. That's pretty much it now that you've learned that pi is not equal to pi divided by 1. Explain to me why square root 2, square root 2, square root 2 is not equal to square root 2 divided by 1. Because neither square root 2 nor pi are numbers, okay? They're not numbers. There is no, no, there's no such thing as a number pi or a number square root 2 or a number e or any of that bullshit which you taught in mainstream mathematics. Does that mean there are no constants? No. There are number constants which represent these, but they're not, they're not the actual thing. They're, a, they're an illusion. And that's pretty much it. I'm the great John Gabriel, and this is the New Calculus Channel. Till next time, morons. Goodbye.